So I'm going to bake my 8800 DTX card. This is the third time I've had to do this. And it seems like every time I bake it, the next time it lasts a shorter amount of time before it fails. So what I've done is I've removed the, the heat sink and the fan by taking the screws out that come out of the bottom. So there's these, there'll be these screws here. Take those out. There'll also be some, some thermal paste on the, the uh, chip. Uh, you can wipe that off with paper towel and then I took the screwdriver and just kind of took the extra out that was in the crack. Once you've done that, just uh, take a baking sheet, put some tin foil on. It doesn't have to be pretty. I tried really hard the first time and it didn't make any difference. So basically, you roll up some tin foil into little balls and sit the card on that. And before you've done all this, you need to preheat your oven to about 390 or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you put the card on there. It's going to cooperate. So now it's on the, it's on that little platforms there, as you can see. So it's sitting on that. And I'm going to put it in the oven for about 9 or 10 minutes. So now I'm going to put the card in the oven. I preheated it to 309 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to put it in there. And I'm going to time it for 9 minutes. And once nine minutes out, I'm going to take it out and uh, put it back together. All right, so I've taken it out of the oven now, and it's cooled off. So you have to wait till it's cool before you touch it and handle it. So what I'm going to do is just apply some grease to it. Um, I'm probably doing this wrong. It doesn't really matter. Just as long as you get some on there. I use a credit card to spread it around. Probably going to need more. About a pea-sized amount. So I'm gonna put a little more on here. I'm just being cheap and trying to squeeze the last bit out of this tube I've used before. So again, this is the third time this card's died on me. So I really don't care if I do this perfectly. Good. Call that good enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to seat the uh, heat sink and the fan back on here. <coughs> Sounds like my daughter's pretty excited. So I'm going to also you have to remember to plug this little fan power back in. That's what gives the fan this little piece here. It gives it this power to operate. So I didn't show me taking this apart because taking it apart is just the opposite of putting it back together. So why show that? So then I just need to put these screws back in. So there's two screws on the back and then a bunch underneath. So I'm not going to show me screwing screws in, but you'd have to, these spring screws are what goes here. And then the black screws go on the back here. 